You still have ties with that thing and you're not able to grow because you still have ties. So it doesn't matter how much you study. It doesn't matter how many certificates you get. It doesn't matter how many degrees. You cannot go forward until you cut the ties of the past and you're not able to cut the ties of the past. So God's not able to give you the promises of your future. You have a demonic connection to your programming that you need to release in order to get to the next level. Amen. For some of you in the room, the connections that you have are demonic. And so you're not going to be able to get to where God wants you to be or even where you want to be until you let those connections. And so God said, because you're not smart enough to break the ties with the program, I'm going to have to do it for you. Because you really do love me with your whole heart and with your whole mind and with your whole soul. But you kind of love them with your whole heart, with your whole mind, with your whole soul. And you have to choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. If, and I, what I love about God is he ain't even tripping on a relationship that didn't work out that you still in mentally and emotionally. You still tie, you still have ties with that thing and you're not able to grow because you still have ties. So it doesn't matter how much you study. It doesn't matter how many certificates you get. It doesn't matter how many degrees. You cannot go forward until you cut the ties of the past and you're not able to cut the ties of the past. So God's not able to give you the promises of your future. And so God, God is so good that he said, you ain't even got to cut them. You didn't even got to cut them. Just tell me you want them cuts. Oh, I'm talking to somebody. God says, Eric, I know your heart. You don't even want to cut ties. You don't even want to. I got you. Just, just reach out. Just cry out. Just tell me that you just want me and you don't want nothing else. And I will cut the ties for you. Oh, I'm talking to somebody. You can't let that man go out your spirit. You can't let him go. You can't get him out your spirit. Just cry out and tell God, God has been five years. I still can't get him out. God has been 10 years. I still can't get him out. Let God get him out for you. God said, I'm sorry, I'm a jealous God. I can't have you attached to him and attached to me. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I'm not, I'm jealous. I can't do it. I can't, I, you can't, he said, you can't serve two masters. I don't got nobody I love Oakwood to my to life. I love Advent to life. I had somebody tell me the other day, it's like, what kind of what are you still? <laughs> I was talking to me young. Like, are you still? I said, Yeah, I am, but I'm Green Beret. You wouldn't even understand this. This Navy SEAL, you wouldn't even understand what we do. We're doing something different. We ain't we ain't came out of. We have not left. We actually are going deeper into the trenches. We actually going deeper into the hole. I ain't lost my commitment, but 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 that I, God said you got to cut that because what I'm trying to get you to do, you can't do that and do this. You know how hard it is when I get a call. E, can you come and preach? I'm like, not the way you asking me to do it. I can't. <laughs> if you're talking about 11 o'clock in the day with the suit, I can't do that. If you're talking about talking to people that already know more than I know about the word, I can't do that. If you're talking about people who know there is a God and kind of want a relationship with God, but something is interfering with that relationship and they ain't even really praying like that and they ain't really in their word like that and they got a problem with God, kind of. If you're talking about that work, then that's the work God called me to do. But God told me to tell you, this don't got nothing to do with my word today. God told me to tell you that you have something that is that you're still attached to. And for some of you, be careful because now now you have mental issues because you haven't been let it. You starting to have mental issues now. You starting to need to see a therapist when you really don't need to see a therapist. I'm not suggesting that you don't need to sit there, but not for that. That she can't therapy you out of cutting the ties. I'm ready to be a winner. <laughs> Look, if that's you, I got news for you. Like I'm, I'm about to blow your mind. The first principle I'm gonna give you to transition, like. You are tired, culturally tired, generationally tired. You in a losing culture. You've been in a generation after generation after generation of losing. You like, E, I'm tired. Like, yo, E, it ain't for me no more, E. Like, E, I, I don't want to do it no more. Look, first principle, you gonna love it. You ain't gotta write no check. Ah, first principle, listen to me. You, you ain't gotta uh, give a whole lot of effort. The first principle, we going mental toughness. 
the first principle, I need you to do me a favor. I just need you to expect the win. Yep. Yeah. Are you like, come on, E, that simple. Look, number one, I need you to expect the win. When you wake up in the morning, I, I expect the win. I expect it to be a great day. Listen to me very closely. I do not get up at three o'clock in the morning to lose. I used to be a loser, high school dropout. I used to be a loser, homeless. I used to be a loser, eating out of trash cans. Listen to me, this ain't no feel good stuff. I used to be a loser, now listen to me. All I do is win. And the first thing I did, I said, look, it's unacceptable. I will not be a loser. All I did was say to myself, I expect to win. Listen to me, when I get up at three o'clock in the morning, I expect it to be a great day. When I grind, I expect to win. When I wake up, I expect a miracle. I expect that phone call. I expected to have marital bliss. I, I had kids. I expected to have a great relationship with my kids. When I went to school to get my PhD, I expected to pass. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? I wake up every day and I expect it. All I need you to do, let's, let's don't practice to fail. Are you practicing to fail? Are you going to class on time, doing all your homework to fail? So number one, mental toughness. Everything you put your hands forth to do, expect to be successful. Expect it to be positive. When you set out for a goal, expect that it's going to happen. That's all I need you to do. Number one, expect it to happen. What if I told you that you never, ever have to come up short again? So this is all I need you to do for me today. Listen to me, this is all I need you to do for me today is to declare that it's over. That yesterday was the last day that you were a loser. Like yesterday was the last day you expected to lose. Like yesterday was the last day you expected, listen to me, to come up short. Like all I need you to do is declare for me like losing is over. All I need you to do is speak up and say, I expect to win. All right, so I'm going to ask you to do something this year that I have never asked you to do before. We're going to do some affirmations. So I need you to repeat after me. I am ready to be a winner. I deserve to be a winner. I am destined. I am destined to be a winner. From this day forth, all I know is winning. Listen to me. From this day forward, all I know is winning. Listen to me. The way I went from losing to winning, guys, is I said this every day, three, four times a day. Say it with me and say it like you mean it. Like, say it like a winner. Don't say it like a loser. I am ready. I am ready to win. I deserve to win. Come on. Come on. Say it like you mean it. I deserve to win. I am determined, come hell or high water, I, I am determined, come hell or high water, to win. From this day forth, all I do is win. From this day forth, all I do is win. It's your boy E.T. saying, expect it. If you can expect it, if you can wake up feeling like a winner, if you can wake up talking like a winner, if you can wake up acting like a winner, listen to me. If you can expect that everything you do will come out winning, I guarantee you, you can make the rest of your life the best of your life. And I'm not telling you it's going to be easy, but I know from personal experience that you can transition from a loser to a winner and make the rest of your life the best of your life.